Hey guys, welcome to day 10 of New Zealand's biggest gap year where we did 365 activities in 365 days in New Zealand, which we did a couple of years ago and we're sort of redoing these videos for you guys now so we can ask some of the popular questions that we got for each of the activities that we did throughout the year. So join us at the end of this video where we'll go through some of those questions. So we get to Hai Hai Beach and the kayaks are lined up on the beach ready for us to go. We meet our guide for the day, Hayden. Hayden does a quick um, safety briefing and you know how to steer the kayak. So Hayden was like, hey, everybody's looking awesome, bro. Everybody's looking awesome. And then he walks toward Laura <laughs> and he's like, you're looking awesome, Laura. Just give me this, hold it completely the other way <laughs> and you're gonna look awesome. We go inside the, the kayak, we get the paddles, and off we go. The Cathedral Cove kayak basically starts in Hahe, which is a very small village, about like 10 minute drive from Hot Water Beach and about 20 minutes kayak from uh, Cathedral Cove. Now we took about an hour and a half to arrive to Cathedral Cove because we were just going through all this rock formation, we went around a few islands. The first place we're going to is Motueka Island, which is apparently the shape of a nose because a Maori chief named this island after his own nose. There's a few different seabirds around the area as well, which is quite cool to see. And the rock formations are really cool. Oh, the ch oh hello, look. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> Every 10 minutes or so, we all stopped and like got our kayaks together while Hayden tells us a story of the Maori legends and the history, both geological history and the Maori history of this significant coastline of the Coromandel. We also got to go through a few caves, which was really cool. I mean, I'd never been through a cave uh, while kayaking before, and it was quite impressive because you still have the wave. Both been there before in different, you know, separate occasions and stuff. But this was quite cool to land at Cathedral Cove and get a new perspective from the ocean. It's like a yeah, different perspective to what you would usually get. Hayden just helped us like one by one, like told us when to paddle, told us when to stop paddling and told us when to paddle backwards and then told us when to panic. But eventually, yes, we did get onto the beach. Cathedral Cove is a beautiful beach from the movie Narnia. Have you seen Narnia? If you didn't, well, you should, uh, because there is Cathedral Cove in it. We have half an hour to check out the beach, check out Cathedral Cove and all its caves, take a few photos, avoid the tourists. It is actually so much quieter in winter time than in summer.
Hayden asked us like, oh, what do you guys want to drink? Do you want coffee? Do you want hot chocolates? We've got mochaccino, cappuccino, frappuccino, lalalino. And we're like, uh, okay, we, I'm, I'm just expecting a thermos of coffee here. After about 15 minutes, he's like, come on in guys. He has like this whole purple blanket laid down in front of us while he's pouring his freshly frothed milk and he's got like a whole barista style coffee shop going on here. I have to say it was absolutely delicious. I felt like royalty sat on Cathedral Cove Beach sipping my mochaccino I went for. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Now before we start paddling our way back to Hahe, he's just taking a small detour to take us inside the cave. The White Cliff Cave and they even had like a mini beach of itself. Hayden gets out of the kayak and just like pulls us all together and he's like, telling the, the local Maori and geography stories of this cave while it's all echoing around us in this tiny little cave. And yeah, quite cool, quite the novelty. It's time to make our way back to Hahe Beach, which is, you know, by this time we are experts at kayaking. So it's just like, we're just cruising along. Well, you know, I'm cruising along and Robin's not doing anything. We are blaring some like really moronic dubstep music. It's the only way that's keeping us warm until we get back to Hot Water Beach where we can take a hot water shower. Now, do you remember um, a couple of days ago when we were in Hot Water Beach and I was digging like a monkey and Laura was mocking me so much? Well, it's payback time. You can be paddling and I'm behind and you don't know if I'm paddling or not, so I'm going on a vacation. Basically, this, is, this sea kayaking tour is about me paddling and Robin just sitting back and relaxing. All right, I hope you enjoyed those videos. Now let's get to some of the comments and questions that we received about doing um, kayaking at Cathedral Cove. First of all, we have a question from Randy saying, is the water too cold for swimming? Um, so the water in New Zealand in general, it, it's a little, it has a little bit of coldness to it. Uh, you have to admit, it's not like, um, it's not like the climate here is warm, like in Australia or the South Pacific islands. Um, it's usually um, the sort of water that you'll want to wait to go in until summer when, yeah, basically when the, outside temperatures are quite warm and you need cooling off that's usually when you want to go swimming in the sea in New Zealand so it is a little bit cold for swimming yes um, at the time of the year that we did this video it was personally I felt it was too cold for swimming but that doesn't stop a lot of people to be honest if you feel like going for a swim and having a quick refresh in the water then by all means it it, it looks like a lot of fun people that do do it obviously look like they're having fun um, but in summer but it's definitely a popular thing to do at Cathedral Cove there's a little bit of an island that you can swim out to and get on top of and enjoy the views get a photo and then swim back so um, 
And I mean just a really small island just off the beach because I know there are bigger islands a bit further away, which I don't recommend swimming to. But yeah, so yeah, the, the water's good for swimming, probably in summer, but not so much at other times of the year. Um, and we also got a comment from John saying, I did their other tour, which went in the opposite direction of Cathedral Cove. It was very good. I had some epic caves, but we didn't get a coffee like you did. Um, so it's nice to see what happens on this tour. Good video. So yeah, that just goes to show that there are other tour options um, to, yeah, basically experience it another way round. Uh, but the coffee was a, was a bit of a gourmet treat to this tour. We were really impressed by the fact that they could spruce up um, pretty much like a barista style coffee on the beach. That was pretty cool. Good photo opportunity as well. So yeah. All right, that is it for the questions and comments of this video. But if you do have any comments of your own, make sure to put them in the comments section below. And we, let, we do answer all the comments that we get. But we also go through some of the questions that we receive on our live Q&A session, which we do every single Sunday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time. You can also join us for the live Q&A session where you can put your questions in the live chat as well. And that's a good way to get your questions answered directly. Otherwise, if you do have any other questions, you can go on to nzpocketguide.com where that has thousands of articles about traveling in New Zealand so no doubt you'll find the answers to your questions there. All right until the next video see you later.